Hey, happy Friday to you and welcome back to the Friday Funnies. Well, they're here and they are heard. The brood of 17 year cicadas have sprouted in Chicago and there are plenty of them. But in central Illinois, the 17 year brood will merge with the 14 year brood in a once in a 200 year experience of cicadas in the gazillions. But these bugs are basically harmless and not nearly the problem that crickets are in northern Nevada. Nevada has been invaded by huge swarms of Mormon crickets. They go door to door not to tell you the good news, but to eat your plants and rub their legs together in annoying unison. And in Yellowstone National Park, a group of stupid tourists got too close to a herd of bison who naturally chased them. I think the Park Service should give intelligence tests to all visitors to rule out the dumb ones. No injuries resulted from that event, by the way, but several tourists complained of soiled underwear. It's clear to me that the animals are getting ready to take over, but before they do, Let's take a look at the foibles of our fellow humans. People were not singing on a recent flight from the UK to New York City, even though it was raining inside the plane. For some reason, the air conditioning unit on the unnamed flight malfunctioned and spewed a heavy fog from the vents. The fog rolled through the plane, drenching the passengers. Now, the fog was not dangerous, but most people did not plan on showering until they got to their destination. The captain got on the intercom and lightheartedly told the people, it appears to be raining in the cabin. Thanks for that update, cabin. <laughs> captain, rather. And when they encountered some turbulence, he said, now it's like a water park. <laughs> A man named Greg from Kentucky claimed that McDonald's never got his order right. So he ordered a triple cheeseburger to be delivered by DoorDash. He asked that his cheeseburger come with, and I quote, everything removed. No meat, no ketchup, no mustard, no pickle, onions, cheese, salt, or a bun. His bill, including delivery, was $19.81. The DoorDash driver brought Greg a sealed bag containing an empty box and Greg was ecstatic that McDonald's finally got his order right. Then he noticed that his invisible cheeseburger came in a deluxe McCrispy box. Oh, the outrage. Greg was livid and gave the McDonald's a two-star rating online saying that they couldn't even do nothing right. You're a hard man to please, Greg, but you should be happy to know that you are named our dumbass of the week. Convicted scumbag Jeffrey Epstein kept a little black book with the names, addresses, and phone numbers of people that he has worked with. There are 389 names in the book, including many well-recognized financial and industrial figures. It was revealed that Donald Trump, Ted Kennedy, and Alan Dershowitz were among the names. Now, since the titans of industry have a lot of money, I expect the bidding to be very high on this item. It's been rumored that Donald Trump is offering a gig as his vice president in exchange for the book. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's it, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Please pass these along to your friends. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. And remember that Memorial Day is about more than just hamburgers and hot dogs. It's about remembering those who died in the service for this country. And don't forget to listen to my uh, podcast, Another Day Above Ground. That'll make you laugh, too. All that being said, have a great weekend. See you next Friday. <laughs>